Hey everybody and welcome to my channel Automate with Usama and in today's video we'll be learning how to set up an automated missed call text back in Go High Level. Now I would really encourage you to watch the video till the end because I have an amazing free bonus for you that will save you tons of time. So missed call text back. It is one of the highly rated features of Go High Level that you can sell as a SaaS business or if you're a marketing agency, you can set this up for your clients and help them catch more leads. Now, before we dive into the configuration, I want to show you this quick chart here that will explain the structure that we will use in our setup. So at the top, we have the phone number here that you can buy in Go High Level. And if you integrate your Google business, you can enable GBP call tracking, which really helps you because that way you can have this phone number on the Google listing and of course have it forward to the business number or the front desk and whenever somebody calls this phone number and it gets forwarded to the business number and they don't pick up we can trigger different scenarios based on if the lead is calling during a weekday and is it during the business hours or is it outside the business hours and of course the second scenario we have is if a lead is calling on the weekend we want to handle that differently so based on this structure here we will set up our automation in go high level so let's dive into our sub account and see how we can do that all right so in your go high level sub account the first thing we have to do is head over to settings and then click on phone numbers on the left and this is where you can buy a phone number as you can see i already have one if you don't have one you can click on add number here and then easily buy one from here for now we'll just make sure that we do have a forwarding number set up which you can do by clicking on configuration and then having it forward to a specific number that you want it could be a front desk number or your business phone number now the next thing we're going to do is head over to integrations and then connect our google business now this is optional but again this is where you can really utilize the power of missed call text back because if you have this phone number on on your google listing that is where the magic will really happen so the first thing you have to do is click on sign in with google and this is where it prompts you to select an account i have that on my other screen so let me just select my account and it will just take a few seconds once your google account is selected it will give you a drop down of the google business listings that you have i'm going to select the right one from here and this is where you enable the gbp call tracking if you leave this check mark what will happen is that the number that you've just bought in go high level will basically replace the other number that you have on your google listing so that way when leads call your business we can have it come through go high level all we have to do is click connect and then you'll see under your google business profile that we have linked it now the next thing we're gonna do is go to the left side, scroll up and select business profile. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says missed call text back. Now this feature is usually enabled by default in Go High Level. So if you don't want to use it, you can unmark it and then save missed call text settings. And now we will build our own setup using the workflows. So let's go back here and then we're gonna to go to automations. And then we'll click on create workflow and select a recipe. This is where you can see some templates from Go High Level. Now I'm going to search for a missed call and then you'll see the missed call recipe right here. Let's select that and then we can modify it according to our structure. All right, so once it loads up, you can see that we have a trigger here where the call direction is incoming and the call status is either busy, voicemail or no answer. So this qualifies for a missed call. And when this trigger happens, there is a series of actions that are going on. So firstly, we have a slight delay just so the SMS that goes out doesn't feel like a bot. And then we have an assigned a user action adding a contact tag that is missed call and then we have the sms right here and then some notifications to notify our team members that we have a missed call from this person now we're going to modify this based on the structure we have so firstly we need to add in a condition that way we know if the lead is calling either on a weekday or a weekend so let's build that here so i'm going to scroll up and we'll add the first step here which will be an if else condition and we can name it check weekday slash weekends so the first branch will be for a weekday and then we'll add the condition here so we'll click on date and time and select current day of the week now usually people like to do like is monday or tuesday or wednesday so that's a really big logic i usually like to simplify it and all you have to do really is just do current day of the week is not sunday and then we'll add one more condition add an or and then we'll have date and time current day of the week is not saturday so i mean if it's not a saturday or a sunday it's definitely a weekday so let's simplify our approach we have that here and for the none branch we'll call it weekend as we have the weekday above now let's go ahead and save action and our first condition is now added now if we go back to our diagram here we have to further break down if it's business hours or outside business hours so if i go back here we'll add one more condition under the weekdays so let's click here add an if else step 
We can call it check business timings and the first one will be during business hours and the other one will be outside business hours. Now let's set up our filter. So we'll click here, select date and time and then say current hour is after, let's say if you start working at 9 a.m. and we'll do an and condition. Then again, date and time, current hour is before let's say we want to do 5 p.m. so we can select that here. So this means that if they call after 9 a.m. and before 5 p.m., that means it is during the business hours. If that fails, then it goes to outside business hours. So we have the logic set up. Let's go ahead and click on save action. And now we have our setup just like this. Now that we have the structure in place, let's copy these steps because we're gonna repeat the same process regardless of what the scenario is. The only thing we'll change is the SMS wording. So in order to copy this, we'll just click here, then under copy, we'll select copy all actions, and then we'll paste that under this branch. So now we have the same setup here. In a similar way, I'm just gonna copy this, copy all actions. And then I'm also going to paste that under the weekend step. So we have the same things. Now all we have to do is basically switch the SMS wording. Now let's go ahead and define the SMS wording that we have. So the first case we have is during business hour missed call. So we'll click on the SMS here. And this is the default text that we have in this template. Now we can switch it out here. But the thing that I like to do is use text templates because then later down the road, you can easily switch the wording from the templates instead of having to go through workflows, especially if you're installing this for the clients and they would be changing it themselves. They will ask you a million questions on how do I get here and then change this. So let's set up text templates for that. So in order to do that, we'll head over here, click on conversations and templates or snippets, and then we will add our first text template so the first one we have here is the missed call weekday during business hours i already have a script here that we can copy so let me just paste that here and then save it in a similar way i'm just going to copy all of these and we also have one for repeated calls that will also cover in the automations so let me just add these snippets here all right so i've just set up all the four text templates that we need and i'm going to go back to the workflow i've already refreshed it so let's just go ahead and map our sms template so this is the first one during business hours and for this we will use the missed call weekday during business hours so we'll use this one and you can see it already mapped the wording here so let's save action here the second one we have is outside business hours so we'll repeat the same thing this is weekday after hours let's select that and save and then we have the weekend so for that we'll switch the sms as well and for this it will be this one and let's go ahead and save action now we've basically covered the three scenarios that usually come up but there's one more where we have some repeated calls so let's say somebody called in for the first time they will go in either of these three branches that we have created but there's one more because if they call in for the second time what will happen and how do we handle that so this workflow does not handle that currently by default if this workflow is as it is right now if they call in the second time this workflow will not run and why is that because if you go to settings here we have not allowed a re-entry so this means that this workflow will automatically skip that person now if you like that i mean you can keep this as it is and then just hit publish but if you would like to send out a different sms based on if they're calling the second or the third time or repeatedly then we're going to have to make some modifications in this workflow now in order to make the modification, let's have a look at what happens if somebody goes through this workflow the first time. They get a tag attached to them, which is missed call. So it means that if a person is calling the second time with the same number, and if they have a tag attached to them, which is missed dash call, it means that they're calling for the second time or maybe the third time. So now we can create a condition based on that. So let's go at the top here. And just before this one, we'll add in another if else condition. And then we can name it check if it's a first time caller or not. So the first branch we'll have is the first time caller. So let's say if the contact details and then under tags, if the tag does not include missed call, then it means that the person is a first time caller. But if they are calling repeatedly, we'll have the second branch for that. So let's go ahead and click on save. And now you can see for the first time caller, we have everything in place. And now if you just want to copy everything, we'll click on the three dots here, 
copy all actions and then just paste that here and now you can see that we have the same exact steps based on the first time caller as well as the repeated caller and all we have to do now is really just switch out the wording for the repeated callers and we can use our fourth script for that here which is for repeated calls so i already created that under text template so let's go back here and then we can map it out here now I'm going to select the same one for the repeated calls, but if you want to, you can tweak it if you like for three different scenarios under the repeated call section. So let's just map the other ones as well. And once this is done, we have the repeated calls template mapped as well. Now there's one more thing that we have to change that I showed you earlier as well. And this gets missed by a lot of people and then they are just trying to figure out why is this condition not working, right? And that is again under settings. You have to make sure that you allow the re-entry because only then this would really work. And then you can save the workflow. So let's zoom this out here and go through the high level view of our workflow. So when we miss a call or our business misses a call, the first thing our workflow will check is if it's a first time caller or not based on the tags, right? Once they figure that out, it will check, are they calling on a weekday or a weekend? So based on that, we have different texts, right? And if they're calling on the weekday, is it during the business hours or outside the business hours? So based on all these different scenarios, both for the first time caller and for the repeated caller, we have different set of SMS going on. All we have changed in this workflow is the SMS wording, but if you want to change some more things, you can do that and customize it as per your liking. Now, before I go ahead and click on publish, there's one more thing that I usually like to do with this missed call text back feature, which is to add any of these missed calls to a pipeline stage. So let me go to the pipeline here and show you as it is right now. So we have new leads, client contacted, lead responded, booked appointment. You would have a similar pipeline. The names could be different. But one thing I like to do here is that I like to add a missed call stage. That way we can track or the clients can see that, hey, we are catching all these leads that are coming up. So let's add a missed call stage and then I usually like to switch the order and then place it right next to the new lead so we can see it right away now let's go ahead and click on save come back to our workflow I'll just do a quick refresh and once that is done I would like to add it as the first step and why is that because we want this action to happen regardless of if they're a first time call or if they're calling at a specific time or not so let's go ahead and search for opportunity we'll select this action right here then choose our pipeline here and under pipeline stage we'll select missed call and then under opportunity name we can do missed call prefix and then basically add in their phone number that they're calling from so i usually like to follow this format of course you can customize it and then we're going to click on save action and now this action will happen regardless of any conditions that we have set up now the last thing is we'll just publish this and hit save and our missed call text back workflow is now ready and you can see like it handles different conditions and it's much more sophisticated and much more uh, effective as compared to the default missed call text back that we get in go high level all right so that was all about this video now as i promised you guys a free bonus towards the end so everything that i just built in the video you will not have to build that yourself and invest so much time just copy this with my snapshot that i'm giving away in the description so just click on that link download that snapshot for free and once you install that you will have the same exact setup save tons of time and then you can customize it further as per your liking if you found this helpful please click on the like button comment any questions that you may have and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.